As Amy shut the door to her room behind her, she assumed she would have felt some kind of relief. She had in the past. But things felt different now. Before, it felt like a game. Like it was a secret role-playing game to justify Justin's anger. The distance between the two. But now, now, she could see what she was doing for what it was. This had to be true. She could feel it in her gut now. Looking up the Motel Dam Sanctum did little. Yes, it was a luxury high-rise hotel. But nothing was saying it was anything more. Yes, the prices were excoriated and the waiting period for any room was a lot. And yes, it seemed as if it was the same few people coming in and out and not much more and Amy paused. That didn't seem right. Well, she would have to look deeper. First the name on the card. Richard Williams, manager of said hotel. Now that was strange. There was nothing. No phone number, no address, not even a picture. She couldn't find anything on this guy. And in an age where everyone had a footprint on the web, this was more than strange. Next, she tried to look up the word Corsecamu, still, there was nothing. She would have felt relief if not for the fact that she now knew there was something wrong with her relationship with Justin. Was she going to break things off with him? Or would they be able to fix whatever was wrong? She kept looking but lost hope by the second. Finally, losing enough hope to look into fan groups. Or as the one called themselves the Fang Chat. There wasn't much. Most conversions were about the latest TV shows or books. But she continued down that rabbit hole. One thing led to another when she found it. Almost passing it, but she was halfway down the page when she quickly scrolled back up. That word, there it was, Korsakamu. It was a group that claimed to fight vampires. Mostly specializing in the Netapuri. But had recently noticed a new type, the Korsakamu slowly appearing. Scrolling through the pages, she tried to find more about the Korsakamu. But there was little to nothing. But they were sure that a few had been staying at the Motel Dam Sanctum. Amy found herself in the position of not knowing if this was better or worse. Emailing them, hoping she could find out more about what was going on. This could still all be a joke. She wouldn't know until she talked to them personally. She sighed, letting her back hit the wall. What did you get yourself into, Justin? Just then, the door swung open. As arsenal as it was, Amy's first thought was that it was Milo or the Richard guy. Instead, her roommate came bopping in. Her headphones were still in as she dumped her belongings onto her bed. Hey, what are you doing up here? Still studying? Finals are over. Gave Amy a quick side glance as she gathered the things she wanted to go out with her that night. No, Amy answered as she sat back up. You should come out with me tonight. We can have a girl's night. She changed her clothes as she talked to Amy. It could be fun. Giving a small smirk as she threw off her snickers, replacing them with eels. Nah, I have to work tonight. You're no fun. Well, the offer always stands. Let me know if you ever want to be fun. You need to get out more. And with that, she was out of the room. A moment later, there was a bing on her laptop. An email, a reply. The answers she needed. To know if this was all real or some kind of sick joke.